Hello, it is Saturday, October 9th, 2021. I am Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. It's a Saturday puzzle, very possibly the most difficult crossword of the week. We'll just have to see, I suppose. Quickly, I'm going to mention the Patreon campaign, which I've been mentioning every day. I'm going to mention it again today in particular because if you head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video, you'll be able to back my Patreon campaign, help sustain this channel and allow it to continue. And today, uh, I suppose as soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm going to put live my solve of the Boss Words Fall Themeless League first competition puzzle. So I think I mentioned this before, but they've explained it before, but the Boss Words Fall Themeless League is a weekly puzzle crossword solving competition that uh, goes out each Monday starting this past Monday for, I keep forgetting, it's eight or 10 weeks, something like that. And you get ranked on your time against other people. I think I'm somewhere in the middle of the pack right now. I wasn't uh, wasn't the fastest solver around. I'm still trying to sort of talk talk through it a bit while um, recording those videos for Patreon backers because I do think that makes it a bit more interesting. Anyway, you can see my solve of the first one of those if you uh, if you back that Patreon campaign. And of course, there are other bonus videos and some other perks as well, like special access to the Discord server. Anyway, that's that. I will move on and proceed to some clues from yesterday's puzzle. Uh, let's see. Stephen Norrie explains that ERA, which I assumed to be a sports statistic, which it is indeed, explains that ERA is a statistic for baseball pitchers, earned run average, that basically gives a measure of how effective the pitcher is. I shan't bore you with the definition, but you can think of it very roughly as the average number of runs a pitcher concedes over the course of a full game, and so a lower number is better. So there we go. And uh, Cardboard Moose says, Odin is indeed a god of war, in addition to of poetry, death, madness, and women. So so Odin, perhaps, is the god of odes. Odin's odes. <laughs> As we all know, there's only one form of poetry that exists in the world of the New York Times crossword, and it is the ode. Anyway, uh, Cardboard Moose continues, He wears a lot of hats. An alternative Nor Norse war god would be Tyr, T-Y-R. He who had his hand bitten off by the dread wolf Fensersulfur. Sorry, that's probably pronounced incorrectly, but of course that wouldn't have fit in the crossword. So, indeed. And then, finally, uh, <laughs> Here's a comment from Jeffrey Bartman who says, I think we need to introduce Remo's Law. If Chris provides a lengthy explanation for why an answer should or shouldn't be something, he will likely be proven wrong, and it is in fact the thing he doesn't think it is. Uh, unfortunately, I think that law has uh, a fair amount of merit to it, much to my, much to my personal regret and shame. Anyway, let's see if that holds true today with this Saturday crossword constructed by August Lee Kovac, or Kovac, edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So shall we get going? Why not? Okay. Travel item. Boy, that's vague. With this Saturday, and as I've said before, a lot of the difficulty uh, curve of crosswords is tuned by simply adjusting the clues rather than necessarily the answers, although both can contribute, of course. A battle cry. I don't know. I mean, I suppose a slogan could be metaphorically referred to as a battle cry, but I don't really think so. A pop group. There's a question mark. So what could this mean? Pop group. Group of dads, a group of some popcorn related thing. I'm not sure. I mean, I suppose it could be pop meaning popular music, but group has the pun. That seems a lot less likely. Let's keep going. Smart blank. I don't know. That, since I have nothing yet, I'm going to say maybe smart Alec, which is a idiomatic phrase referring to a sort of smarty pants. Big shot. More than discouraged. Part of a Navy officer's rotation. And luxury vehicles since 1986. Maybe Acura's. Acura is Honda, I think. 
Honda's upmarket brand. I think I I think I mixed that up between Honda and Toyota a month ago or so in the puzzle, and now I'm now I'm sort of doing the thing where I continually second guess myself. Maybe I'll fall afield, uh, fall afoul of Remo's law here if I overthink this. But I think Acuras would fit with Alex, so that's something. So a travel item. I don't know. Ending in A is not great. And I have no idea if, if Acuras began in 1986. Blank Richmond, former head of the Congressional Black Caucus and senior advisor to Joe Biden. Not sure. Certain exotic pets. Boy, this is uh, this is going to be a tough puzzle, I think. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll delete all of Maybe I'll leave Alec for now, just in case. Its national animal is the beaver. Is that Canada, maybe? Velocity, e.g., could be a rate, rate of speed. Some stand concessions. What does one sell at a stand? Aids, maybe, as in lemonades or limeades. Die out could be wane, decrease over time. A hoity-toity type, a snob, perhaps. Okay, this looks more fruitful here. Blank a shanter, a tam a shanter kind of hat. Battle cry. Oh, I see. It's war. So this is an example of a battle cry rather than a definition of a battle cry. So in to my point about definitions, in an easier day of the week, this might be clued a little bit differently. It might be clued battle cry eg or something to indicate that this is an example of that thing ephemeral palace ephemeral palaces where that is places momentarily this looks like ice ice castles they're ephemeral because they will melt they will melt and there will be no evidence of their existence painter whose cataract surgery allowed him to see and paint in ultraviolet oh Claude Monet. I had no idea. That's fascinating. I'll have to look that up. I wonder, is that, is that a common side effect? A hullabaloo? Big noise, a big to-do, a din. Okay, so that does actually make Acuras look more likely here. So perhaps I will not fall afoul of Remo's Law. Although sometimes there are cases where I'll build a whole complex interrelationship of answers and they all turn out to be wrong. That does happen. Okay, let's see. More than discouraged. More than discouraged. It looks like allayed, which is the exact opposite of this. So that's not correct. Um, ill, maybe? Something with an I, negative? More than discouraged. I suppose I've been thinking of this as discouraged as a noun, as in discouraged somebody to do something, but it could be I am feeling discouraged, an adjective but I'm still not quite seeing it. Travel item. Boy, I don't know. And then big shot. I don't, I don't see this one yet. Big shot. Could be something about ammunition with that question mark again. Big shot. A macro photography. Mac I don't know. Let's keep going. Order in the court. Be seated. I think that's the sort of thing that a judge might say. Certain exotic pets. Oh, iguanas? Are iguanas exotic? I remember knowing a number of people who had iguanas when I was when I was growing up. More than discouraged. Alleged? Doesn't really make any sense. All part of a Navy officer's rotation. So this is probably a task, maybe, that a Navy officer would get slotted into see something because they're on the sea <laughs> i don't know travel item oh a visa a travel visa so actually yeah maybe to see something and then a big shot va i don't know still more than discouraged ill i don't know is could iguanas be wrong Baseball team whose mascot is Screech the Eagle. Familiarly, I have no idea. Could be a could be a school team. I don't know though. Ron who played Tarzan. Oh, I think I know this from the crossword. Actually, this would be I think extremely difficult if you didn't just happen to know it from the crossword. I, I would almost consider it crosswordies. I think it's Ron, Ellie or Ely. Um. So, oh, C duty. For the Navy officer's rotation? I mean, I did say duty earlier, but I was expecting it. What is sea duty? Is that 
maybe watching the the sea for hazards or something? I don't know, but it, it seems plausible. And then Cedric Richmond is a name. Big shot. Oh, a vaccine. Ah, you'd think I would have been in mind of that recently, but apparently not. Iguanas. And then more than discouraged. Oh, I see. It's illegal. It is an adjective. I see. This activity is not just discouraged. It's more than discouraged. It is, in fact, illegal. And the baseball team is the Nats, which... Washington, maybe? I'm not sure. Sorry. <laughs> Sinking fastballs. So that's baseball. Again, this was baseball as well, right? Yes. Sinking fastballs. I assume that's a baseball thing. Strauss's also blank Zarathustra sprock. Thus spoke Zarathustra. That's the um, piece of music that's extremely, probably to many people, best known from its use in Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey near the beginning with the uh, when the ape is throwing the bone up in the air. And it turns into a spaceship. It doesn't turn into a spaceship, but it crossfades to a spaceship. Okay, sinking fastballs. Sp speed something? Not sure. Start of a count. Start of a count. Does that count one, two, three, or does it mean something else? Probably not an aristocrat. I can't imagine that in this case. Not sure. Conductors cry. All aboard. A conductor of a train, as opposed to an orchestra, might say, ah, I can't spell. There we go. Here we have repair could be amend. Dishevel could be, dishevel could be must, as in to sort of must someone's hair, maybe, if it's a, if it's a, a verb like that. Shapes, and then we would have the plural here, which looks pretty plausible. Uh, shapes, molds, uh, you could mold something into a given image, shape it into that image. A purpose of a pass. Could be a pass in sports, it could be an editing pass, it could be a pass through mountains. Not sure. Pop group again, right, what is that? Don't know. A sustainability indicator, maybe eco, maybe by indicator, maybe they mean in marketing, the phrase eco is used to indicate that this thing is has sustainability as a goal. And again, I think on an earlier day in the week, this might be something like prefix with sustainability or something, maybe more overt. Although here, here I go already explaining why this is definitely eco, something I don't yet know. So I may yet again be following a foul of Remo's law. Who knows? Okay, blank film. A feature film. Oops. So it probably is eco, actually. And then pop group. Oh, fam. Uh, family. Group to which your pop belongs. Uh, and again, I think this is a case of a pretty easy, pretty, pretty easy bit of answer with a pretty clever and slightly difficult clue. So knee part for short, oh, ACL, I suppose. That came up in the crossword yesterday. And someone was asking what, I remember in the, uh, the clue didn't have an, any kind of abbreviation indicator. And someone in the comments was asking why, and I forgot to read that. And I don't really know why. I suppose because ACL, I think at this point is, I, I don't know what it stands for, but whatever it is, I think it's much more, the, 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 Letters ACL are used to describe it much, much, much more than whatever it stands for in total. Uh, and so it's, it is obviously an abbreviated version of whatever that is, but uh, this has sort of overtaken that as the primary way of referring to it, like scuba, for instance. Okay, the purpose of a pass, access. Oh, I see, a pass to get into a building. That was one of the senses of the word pass I did not consider. Sinking fastballs, not sure. Oh, splitters, is that the name for something in baseball? I'm not sure. Let's let's look at the crosses. I won't fill it in yet, but let's look there. Scales up. I'm thinking lades is in is in sort of loads cargo. Scales up. I'm not sure. 
much covered New Orleans standard based on Mardi Gras chants. Don't know. It's going to be a song, I suppose. I'm just going to move on. Start of account. Popular podcast genre. True crime, I think, is definitely a popular podcast genre. That's for sure. Ripped could be tore, as in a piece of paper. Pretty straightforward. Um, relays, right. Relays, e.g. So, could be a relay race. I'm, I'm, I'm disinclined to spend so much time on some of these long clues because it seems like I actually am getting other things when I just keep marching through the puzzle. So maybe I'll keep doing that. An advanced degree could be a PhD or a master's degree, like an MBA, a master's of business administration. Um, or nth it could be the nth degree in math. So probably PhD or nth are my, my guesses, but I don't know which. They both seem equally plausible. Uh, which again, another perfect example of this cluing. Uh, those are both pretty, you know, relatively common crossword fills, but you probably get something more specific to one or the other in an easier day, even though the actual terminology is not very obscure. It's not very difficult in and of itself. Okay, equal opportunity. Oh, something higher, maybe? Because equal opportunity is often applied to hiring practices. But this looks, this doesn't look great. So I don't, yeah, maybe not. Uh, let's keep going. Local legends. Could it be something around a legend on a map as opposed to a local legend, a person, a sort of famous local figure? I'm not sure. Let's keep looking. A dance move could be a step. Disney redhead, no, that's wrong, because a Disney redhead is probably Ari Ariel, I think it's spelled from the Little Mermaid, who is redheaded. So, dance move. So this could be a specific dance move, whereas a step would be a synonym for dance move. It could be a plie in ballet. That's pretty speculative, though. Bit of auto design inspired by the jet age. Oh, so maybe it might be plie, actually, because I think... This is probably tail fin. If you, if you ever see photographs of cars from, I guess, largely the 50s and the 60s, I think this has disappeared as a major design choice by the 70s. But, you know, you get cars that almost sort of look like airplanes with these very aerodynamic fins in the back, tail fins. That's got to hurt. Could be oof. Arm muscle slangily. Uh, could be tri for triceps. And a figure often written with X's. It could be social security number because that's a sensitive piece of information. It's often, uh, you know, you'll just see a couple letters of it and the rest are filled in with X's to obscure the majority of it. Could be. Blows away. Not sure. On units of land with or without the first letter. Oh, that's clever. Plots. Because if you remove the first letter, you still get lots, which is another way to refer to a bit of land. For a house, for instance. Sticky candy, a lollipop? Oh, I see. So a lollipop is indeed sticky. So this clue works, well, it's sticky once you lick it. Um, so this clue indeed works on a literal basis. But then there's also the question mark indicating a pun because a lollipop has a stick. It is a sticky candy. And I see, blows someone away, floors them. Equal opportunity, oh, fair share, perhaps. You're given your fair share or an equal opportunity. An arc-shaped musical notation is a slur. That's a, uh, as it says, an arc that is placed to link musical notes together that indicates they should be sort of almost smushed together as opposed to distinctly played one after the other. A start of a count. Wow, why am I not seeing this? I mean, it has one at the end of it, which would be the start of a count. Scales up. Could this be Libra? Could this be refer... What is... Actually, what even is Libra? I mean, I'm thinking of the constellation, the zodiac sign, and up, in this case, meaning maybe up in the sky. I don't really know what animal this is. Um, which is sort of embarrassing. What is this? Oops, it's adorable. I hope someone else gets that. Uh, 
I kind of think this is what it is, but but I don't really know why, but I feel I should know why. Okay, anyway. Start of account. Well, with that I, this looks like strike one. So that's another baseball thing. So we had baseball here with the Screech the Eagle team. Then we have strike one, and then we have the sinking fastballs, which I'm sure is baseball related. So it's Saturday, which means there isn't a theme, but but maybe there is kind of a little bit of a theme, but there's no sort of mechanic or big thing that links them together. At least I don't think there is. Although I just jumped down to where the revealer probably would be if this were a puzzle with a theme. And it says where you might get the ball rolling, which could very well end up also being a baseball clue, but certainly not one that ties everything together in some very clever way. Okay. Anyway, much covered New Orleans standard based on Mardi Gras chance. Boy, I don't know. With that K in there, that became much stranger. I don't think I have any idea what this is. And then relays. Oh, team events, maybe? Because a relay race, you pass you pass the baton to other people. So this does look like splitters, doesn't it? I mean, could it be splatters? I co... I, boy, I have not a clue what that is. Is there any way I have something else incorrect here? Fair share, true crime, and all aboard must be correct. Start of account, strike one, seems like it has to be correct, doesn't it? Boy, I mean, I guess there, I mean, it could be really impressive misdirection with, there's some other version of strike, of stry something one. Um, boy, I just don't know. I'll leave it in there for now and move on. So advanced degree, we said could be nth or PhD, or I mean, it could be something else, but those are what I think it is likely to be. Local legends could end in an S. Does that help at all? If this were nth with an H or PhD with a D, those both look pretty bad. Yeah, those both look pretty bad, so I'm not going to put anything in there yet. Egg light? Egg like? Oh, something ovular maybe? No, doesn't fit. Ovoidal? Shaped like an ovoid? I can't believe what I just read. OMG, perhaps? And so here this is in this is in brackets, and so this is sort of nonverbal, I guess it would be typed as opposed to spoken. I guess you could say OMG, but you usually don't. Bam chef. Oh boy, wow, I remember this. This is a real dated reference, I think. This was Emeril Lagasse or Lagasse, I think his name was. Uh I mean, he's probably still around. I don't really know. I think he was sort of one of the original celebrity chefs, of which there are now countless examples. But he was, he had this sort of bam catchphrase that he would say all the time for some reason. I don't remember what that meant exactly. Okay, keep one's head down. It could be to lie low. And a soft or hard finish. Soft wear or hard wear. Right. So when you see finish, it could mean lots of things, right? I mean, it could be a lacquer or sort of paint finish or something, but often words like that, you know, things like start or finish are ways to subtly point to a suffix or a prefix of a word. And in this case, an ending that works with both soft or hard, software or hardware, both work. So the grim in the Harry Bo Potter books. Um, I don't know. I've actually never even heard of that one. Often with the Harry Potter things, even though I've not read the books or seen the movies, I've at least sort of heard of character names and stuff. This I have never even heard of. It could be an ogre with a fantasy book with four letters starting with an O. Let's see if that helps at all. Easy going. Is this not going to end up being where? Is this is a perfect example of Remo's Law? Good Lord. Could be, because I'm looking at this word and this A looks sort of odd. I mean, of course, I have no confidence about ogre either. That was a complete guess. I think I'm going to have to delete where and ogre for now and move on. Where you might get the ball rolling. Oh, this could be, I mean, this could be a word that starts with GL, but this could also be a word that ends with ing, which looks a little bit more likely. Does that help here? It's all over the papers, ink on the newspaper. So yeah, that does look more plausible. Let's look at these downs. These might be a little easier. Oconquo's people in things fall apart. Ewos maybe? Let's just look at this and see. 
place uh, orient, to place yourself, to orient yourself, to get your bearings. That might be the case. And then shapes of some dog treats. Uh, I don't know. What are dog treats shaped like? Bones most frequently, I would think. Steaks, maybe? Does that happen? No idea. Help, for example, is a plea. A boo-boo is an owie. A left on board, the direction left on a ship is port. Okay, so that all worked out pretty well, I think. No. Oh, it's not you. Ebos, maybe. Bowling lane. Right. Okay. Yes, that makes more sense. So bowling lane, you might get the ball rolling in a bowling alley in the lane. Okay, so now we have to contend with this southeastern little corner for real. So easygoing. Um, one may be personal. And Spartan, e.g. Okay, could Spartan be Helene, like a referring to part of the sort of ancient Greek world, perhaps, as in Hellenic? I wonder if that makes sense. Oh, the Grim is not an ogre. Maybe the Grim is an omen. And soft or hard finish. Oh, maybe it is where. Okay, maybe I'm slightly redeemed here. Ah, uh, yes, okay, so easygoing is no drama. There we go. Advanced degree is nth, so it was one of those. And local legends are lore. And that's why it didn't need to be. Uh-oh. Why? Oh, I didn't finish it. Right. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I was finishing the puzzle. But anyway, lore is, um, that's why it didn't need to be plural, which is why I was, was wondering what was going on there. Because lore is a collective noun. Okay. So sinking fastballs. I feel as though this must be splitters. I can't really imagine what else it could be. The only other word this could be is splatters. I mean, I suppose splutter is a word. You're spluttering. You're sort of slurring your words and struggling to get things out. But that doesn't, that couldn't possibly be correct. Splatters seems like maybe in some universe that could be possible, maybe. But splitters seems most likely. I just have no idea what this is. Icoiro? No. Ugh, boo. I just, I have, maybe it is splatters? No. There must be something wrong here. I have no, much covered New Orleans standard uh, splatters. Okay, Oiro. What on earth is this? All right, I'm going to put splitters back in because I think that's what it is. And I'm going to look at the other crosses. Strike one must be correct. All aboard must be correct. I cannot possibly imagine True crime, that's the most correct out of any of these, I think. And equal opportunity. I mean, it definitely could be correct, but it could be more correct than this, I think. Because a fair share isn't really an equal opportunity. A fair share is maybe what you'd end up with after being given an equal opportunity. The equal opportunity itself is maybe more of a fair shake. There we go. Okay, and I have not the slightest clue what eco, eco, or eco, eco is. Eco, eco. I just do not know what that is. It's based on chance. So I'll have to look that up, or someone will tell me in the comments, which I always enjoy. So thank you in advance to the kind viewer who does that for me. All right, so there we go. That was sort of a at times quite tricky, and I thought at times quite smooth, Saturday crossword. It was, um, spanned the gamut, at least for me. Claude Monet in painting an ultraviolet. That is fascinating. I'm really curious what the, to hear the explanation of that whole thing. And I do think this puzzle was a good example of quite a few clues that, um, in some cases were paired with relatively straightforward answers, but were a little bit trickier than that same clue might be on, say, a Wednesday puzzle. You know, you could imagine fam and nth and these sorts of things being on a uh, an easier day because they're not very obscure, but just being clued a little bit more straightforwardly. Anyway, um, but there are also some things like feature film that's pretty straightforward, just a missing word, what goes with film, feature film, pretty straightforward. Uh, and then some things that were very difficult for me 
regardless of the cluing, because I just didn't really know them, like Eco Eco and Splitters, which was tough because they crossed each other. And then Fair Shake and Fair Share, that was interesting because those were, um, they're so similar to one another and they're both plausible. And unfortunately they crossed with something I didn't know at all about. You could imagine Fair Shake and Fair Share somehow being part of a theme a theme in which you had a rebus where you put in both K or R and the word has to make sense with each letter. You can imagine that that happening. Emerald, I wonder how many people remember Emerald. Anyway, there we go. That was the Saturday crossword. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do subscribe to this channel and then you'll be able to very easily see these videos as they go up each morning. And if you particularly enjoy this series and you'd like to contribute to its ongoing uh, sustainability, its ongoing ability to continue, please check out the Patreon campaign. Um, it starts at three pounds a month and or, or you're converted into your local currency. And for that, you get bonus videos such as the Boss Words Fall Themeless Competition, of which puzzle number one is going up today. There was a previous puzzle up on the Patreon, which was the preseason, which was a I suppose sort of a practice puzzle, but today's is the first real competition puzzle that I solved. And uh, you also get special access to the Discord server. And don't forget, if you're interested in chatting with folks on the Discord server, anyone can join it. You just get additional types of access with the Patreon. And some people in the Patreon, depending on their backing level, also get recognized right now. So today I would like to very much thank Joe Percy and as always, the inestimable hood monster for being such enthusiastic supporters of this channel. Thank you again, Joe and hood monster. It really does mean a lot to me. And thank you to everyone else who has backed the Patreon campaign. And thank you to you for watching. I hope you do that again tomorrow for the Sunday puzzle. Sunday puzzle, probably a little easier than this puzzle, but also much longer. It'll be a nice long language solve. So join me for that on Sunday. Kick off your Sunday with something relaxing, like a big, long New York Times crossword. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care.